when Biomarin reached out to me, they had a strong sense of what they wanted to achieve. I basically approached that project, what's the story that wants to be told? And what's the best way to tell it? What's the best material to use? You want to make sure that you can speak to the patients. They're the number one priority. So we all know that awareness of rare disease is not limited to one day a year. It is something that we at Balmarine, we live and we breathe every day. Having our chief executive meet our patients and our patients be able to talk to us as a company is something I think that is specific to Biomarin. It's just part of who we are. They're part of my family now, because I started when I was seven years old. They come, they're so open, they just want to meet everybody. You just get to see the people who have put so much energy and hard work on the medicines and the treatments. It's a chance for us to sort of feel kind of like what we do is meaningful and, and worthwhile. About two years ago, our patient, Isabel Busso, had this idea. Let's do something, let's do like a recognition of all the patients who have been with Bimarin. And also patient that is no longer with us. You know, it would be really special. The team came back and said, let's do a sculpture with the love locks. Brilliant. It's this bridge in Paris where couples come and they put a lock on the bridge and it symbolizes their eternal love for each other. When I heard the idea, it just touched me because I, I love Paris. I consider myself a romantic person. And then we went to a local artist up in Napa, Gordon Huther. Whatever story I think I'm telling on someone else's behalf, you always want to leave enough spiritual, intellectual freedom for them to interpret it for themselves. A tree of life is an age-old concept. There's hundreds of stories over history of the tree of life and what it means to different people. Trees have a lot of symbolism. There's also a family tree. And we're all family. And I think that symbolizes that closeness that we have with our patients. The sculpture that we are about to unveil is a symbol of our deeply rooted relationship with our patients. It will remind us every day of our devotion to the individuals who inspire us to do our best. These are kids that were told they weren't going to be here, and they're here. And these are long, loving relationships that have gone on and endured.